Hello everybody. Today we are going to create a chicken video. So, so today we, so this week we decided on separating the boys with the bumblefoot and the chickens that don't have the bumblefoot. So this is where the original babies are who are okay and don't have the bumblefoot. And here is the old pen and we decided to put the old the little boys with the bumblefoot in. So here is their food and their water. And so this is baby boy, this little man, feathers. He doing baby boy. Oh he's a little itchy man. And this is furry. And there. And we just made my dad just made that um ladder going up to the their little roost um just yesterday. So this is so right now we are trying to like cure the bumblefoot and so we got medication for them and we got Epsom salts and so let me just here show you guys the bumblefoot this is little man feathers my little man so he is really bad at bumblefoot he can't really walk properly without hurting his little toes so he has um he actually it's really bad. He has bumblefoot on each toe and from what I've seen on um on YouTube they usually just get it in the centre. But he has it on each toe which is very scary and I just hope he's okay. So one second guys. So so as you can see here, here is the bumblefoot. The Epsom salt has made it go a bit blacker. The vet says that um, this is our first ever case we've ever had of bumblefoot. Um, and these are our little boys from the original batch. And they say it can come in older roosters. So it's very common in roosters. So this is a little rooster. He's my little man feathers. He's seven years old. And so is this guy over here, little baby boy furry. Furry, show yourself to the world, little man <laughs> feathers. There he is. He looks so like Mario. I love how he's just walking into the phone. <laughs> So, um, he's such a good little boy for feathers, and um, the vet says that the Epsom salt could help take it off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, so right now we're just kind of like waiting, hopefully, hopefully it'll come off, I hope it'll come off. I really do. So this is his little feet are sore, because the bumblefoot, you see it's black there, and it is black there. So he has it really bad, poor little man. So we're just hoping this Epsom salt fixes him. We did notice that like the second day we were using Bumblefoot uh, Epsom salt, he seemed to be um, he seemed to be walking okay. But some um, but I think it depends on like what he's walking on. I think he struggles to walk on like flat ground, but like, grass is okay. So I'm just I just I just hope to God like this stuff works and like we get the little boy walking back again, just like Mario over there in the other cage. And um, this is just to separate them because some of the boys are bullying and picking on him because he is, is kind of like, he's he's kind of like, you know, with the bumblefoot he's struggling to walk and they think he has something wrong with him. So they are kind of attacking him so we decided to separate them. And this boy over here, Furry, uh, he actually, he's a bit of bumblefoot too, it's not as bad but he has it. So he's, um, so we have him separated as well. But at least they have each other's company. They're the two oldest boys. The uh, there's two other older boys in the cage over here. I'll show you guys. I just I just hope this uh, medication works for them. I'm actually going to give them their medication now, and then I'm going to give them the Epsom salt. Hello, socks. So these are my little babies that don't have the bone foot. They we <laughs> they all think I'm going to give them food. Especially the hens. What are you doing, baby? Huh? What are you doing? So this is this is popcorn, Yashi, and Silky. Mario, he's the original boy from 2013. He's a good little man. Um, with Luigi. Now Luigi is starting to get a touch of bumblefoot, which we are treating, but he's in here because he's not getting picked on. And what is the cat doing? <laughs> Doing socks. 
What are you doing? Are you guys seeing this? I might be off target here. He's just climbing up the whole thing. What are you doing, little man? Anyway, um, moving on from that entertainment from little man socks over there, we have. <laughs> We have Luigi, and he is a touch of bumble foot, but we have him in here because he's not getting bullied. And also he started kind of picking on little feathers over there, so we kind of put him in here because he's... he At least he's not getting picked on. Even though he's like a touch of it, but he's okay. And this is Mario, perfect perfect cue, little Mario. He... he has... Um, he seems to be okay. But we're just treating him just for safety, because he is one of the older boys as well he is a little man yes mario and these are our boys from 2015 the sprouty man how you doing he's a big boy and cheapy how you doing cheeps how you doing and and there's little poppy over there which is another girl from this is popcorn she is another little girl from 2015 yes isn't that right we hatched her in 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 um may isn't that right baby and there's um their little cousin sprout was hatched in august so he's a few months younger than them but he's like the biggest looking one of them <laughs> so yeah that's all nine of them and i just <laughs> and furry got out of the cage so i left it open hello furry how you doing little man so um, now I'm going to try and get the medication in them. I just really hope this works. <laughs> Popcorn. What are you doing? She's like a little crazy little woman. Like she's really girly, but she's like crazy too. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to get them their food. One second, guys. <laughs> what are you doing, Socks? We had this pen. This, this, that pen is as old as Socks and the chickens. And he's never climbed up on it until now. <laughs> I don't know what notion he's taken. I love my little baby boys and girls. Okay, I'm out now. Um, oh, and this pen, actually, was... We just put this pen up two years ago. This pen was originally our dog Sheba's. And we um, decided to add these babies in. Because we thought it was a lot more secure and safer. Because it was like... There was, it was like, it was a bit dangerous because we were going on holidays two years ago and there was these two dogs and they kept coming and I was like terrified that they were going to get the chickens. So we decided to make this like really big secure cage that would like keep them safe and stop like any like animal getting in. So that's why we've made that one, that one right there. And this one is just their like little like temporary one for now. I just, I just hope to God that the little boys better before I get better. And this one's just socks just jumped down, and it's like I just called it their little retirement village. <laughs> it used to be their original pen, but then we just went. You know what? We might as well use Sheba's cage. And there's our original coop that went with this pen, that my dad also built. It was amazing. So I just so right now we're just gonna get them that medication in them. I hope they got it work. Sorry if I'm talking a lot, but I just when when someone starts me on my chickens, I I get very excited and I tend to. Go along. I tend to start talking about my chickens for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Here's Adam, Hi. my bro. How you doing, Adam? I also have a channel, um, Adam Kieran. You can subscribe to that if you want. Content's not really great, but if you want, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, right now he's just um cutting some. No, I'm cutting the last year's strawberries. These are all dead now, and old. So I'm cutting them now, and so new ones will plant. And I have these little, like um. These are little stems that they come out and they'll sprout out and um mm. and there'll be the new like flowers for That's really interesting. Uh, flowers and strawberries for summer. That's a good idea. Yes. You keep up with that good work. And we also have a few worms in here that we might be using for fishing. Um so oh, there's worms in there. Yeah. There's been worms in here for a few days now, so they're just kinda in there in the soil, the moist soil, just for like fishing. So and there's like a really big one in there, it's like the size of a snake. I don't even know how they get that big. Hello, guys. <laughs> so this is their, this is the medication that we've put.
put into their food or water you have a choice i said they don't drink that much water so i said it, it might be better if we just add it into their food and the vet said that's okay too this is the fair this is fair mason fair mason fair mason it is a hundred percent granule for use in drinking water or food he's saying that for the video and chicken this is for chicken turkey and calves and here's this like like powdery white stuff and here is the epsom salt this epsom salt is to put on their feet now they did say the vets told us that you could put like a like a kind of like a make a paste of it and put it around their feet but then i looked up on the internet and, and some and, and people were also putting like a little like like a tiny cup of water into the basin and adding a bit of ep like a cup or two cups one cup or two cups of epsom salt in and then putting uh, the chicken in and letting them soak their feet to like loosen um the bumble foot so that's what we are doing then so i'm just going to show you guys what we do with this stuff right here adam we need you to make your special food for the chickens Adam has a very, very good way of making food for chickens, and it's love. It's brilliant because there, it's like it's like mixed with water, and it helps. And the and get, stuff. Yeah, and then you, yeah put, you put it in a bowl, and then you mix it with water, and you spin it. Yeah. And it's a good way of like moistening. It's a good way to get water into into chickens as well, because I just feel like they don't like they don't really drink like that much. They just mostly just eat. They just love eating. So this is how we make the food. So. I don't even know how to. <gasps> Feathers looking good to me. Feathers is a little man. He's like a fresh prince of ballet over here. So, uh, Adam, this is tell them how you make your special. Okay, I need a spoon. Oh, and not that spoon. Yes. Actually, pop? I had a spoon earlier. Close this door. Oh yes. yes. So this is what Adam does. He gets the pellets from here. And we then Adam adds the water in and it makes it kind of like mashed, it's easier for them to eat, and it's also very like it's moist as well. Yeah, you want to put a bit of water because it's not water, you can't drink. Looks <laughs> yeah. pretty good. That you also up. need to get some of that medication in there. There we go. Yeah. This is just kind of like our own homemade food for them, and then we add. A teaspoon of medication. So about maybe this much. Hmm? Yeah. Well, you said half a spoon. Of that, but e no, just put it. Just put the because yeah. because it's a big it's a big bowl. So. So this is a full spoon. Yeah. So there's a yeah, full spoon, and then you add it in here. Mm -hmm. I just mix it. I just and Adam mixes it up there. Sugar or something. Yeah. And then Adam, I've been mixing that for a few minutes. That looks really good now, the way that is. Yeah, it's, it's actually really satisfying too. Yeah, yeah, it's so smooth. Okay. Now let feathers have the first bite. Mm. There feathers we go. Is the feathers is our taste tester. Here you go, feathers. Oh, he likes it. Oh. He always likes it. He likes it a lot. Good boy, feathers. The medication's in this, so that's gonna be really good too. Yeah. The boy feathers. I think he likes it. What you say, feathers? Hmm. Yo yo. Yes. So now it's time to give the yum, other yum. boys some. So we're gonna give some furry some. And well, we... you have to you have to put feathers back in this cage because it's gonna be in, in the cage in the cage. Yes. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put feathers in his cage to eat this. And we're gonna add furry, and we might add the Ouija too because he is a touch of it, but it's not that bad. But we might as well now that we have the medication. Happy lifted, happy lifted. Here you go, furry bird. Here's the food. <coughs> Little feathers, oh, so cute. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Be careful, it's a tight squeeze, you know. So, here we go, feathers. Loves his little foods. Don't you, good boy. Yes. Nice food. Hey, get furry. No. Get furry. We'll get some furry his food too. Furry. Bit, 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 bit. Come here, baby boy. Come on. My food. 
Yes. Luigi's so funny. He's always like the nervous rooster. I don't know why. He's just always the nervous one. <laughs> so while Adam is getting Luigi, we, I'm, I'm going to feed the little boys. So I am going to feed the other cages, little baby boys and girls in there. So we are going to add some food in here. So we just like add maybe like three handfuls for the others. So in this little bucket we got over here. Oh, the food just fall out because it holds in it. Oh, it's don't worry. We're just gonna we just toss it in afterwards. This is just like a bowl to keep all the food in for now. Why that's all you said in my head? There we go. Yeah. Maybe just one little bit more. <laughs> one little more. There we go. I think that's enough for all little babies, all six of them. There we go. Nah. There we go. Times he gives the little foods. God, they're very hungry little men and women. They're waiting at the door. Very hungry little men and women we have today. Now, nah, little babies. Time to give my little babies the food. Hello, little men and women. Hello. Hello, little babies. Oh, you're very hungry little men and women today. Yoshi knows there's food. Yeah. She knows. She Yoshi food. always knows there's food because he, like, he oh, likes they're food. They're going to get so excited. Watch this. Babies, look, I love them the because the girls get so excited and the boys. And then the boys start making these really happy chirpy noises like duk, 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 when they get their little baby boy um, energy. <gasps> little babies! I love giving them their food because they're just so excited when they get it. Little men and women. Food. Yoshi's so cute. Yoshi, Yoshi was on to you when he was like yeah. trying to trying to try and get food. He told you to put food in the way. Oh, she really was. Oh, Yoshi is adorable. She's so tame. She'd fall asleep in your arms, just like feathers would too. They all like are so cute. Yoshi, how are you doing? You have eating your foods. Good girl, Yoshi. This is Yoshi here. Good girl. There we go. They have their food. They are very happy little little yeah. kitties. Go. So now that that is done, we are going to get the Epsom salt bucket ready for the little men's feet to have the bumblefoot, and that will be feathers and furry and Luigi. Luigi as well. Luigi's not too bad though, but we might as well before it gets any worse because, like, even though like feathers and furry have a bad, and Luigi's only like getting bad, yeah. we still then um, we have we, be we better than Luigi because we don't want him getting bad. So right now my brother is using the bucket, so I can't use it right now for their um for their feet in and for the Epsom salt. I know it's that. No, no, it's okay. Uh, so we're gonna use it later. So I'll make an. Oh, I'll make I'll make um a second video towards this, so which will be showing how we clean the Epsom salts off them, and put the Epsom salt on their feet. So that will be in the next video. So right now we have us feeding them, introduction, feeding, and medication, and the next video will be Epsom salt. So I hope you guys just enjoyed this video during quarantine, and I hope to you guys soon, and remember stay safe. <laughs> he's, 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 he's a busy man at work today. <laughs> so just remember, uh, stay safe, wash your hands, and remember always wash your hands when you're in the garden. Bye guys!